everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Morgan and this is Makeup by Morgan. And today I will be doing a makeup look inspired by the movie Coraline. So to start, I'm first using my can uh, Revlon Candid Concealer and my Beauty 360 Makeup Sponge. Now I will set my concealer using my Maybelline Superstay Powder and I'll start all over the face with this big fluffy brush and then move into a smaller Sonny Kashuk brush to go just over the places that I put the concealer. Now for bronzer, I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Tickets to Brazil, and I'm taking this large Sonny Kashuk brush. And I will be contouring using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, starting with a face angled brush, and then for my nose, I will use an eyeshadow angled brush. Now I'm going to be taking the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Party and I'm taking that on the fluffy brush from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. Now I'll be highlighting using this wand brush from Walmart and I will be using the Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit in the shade Orion. To blend my blush with my highlight, I'll be using the same brush and I'm going to take the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Very Amore. Moving on to eyebrows, I'll be doing my usual brow routine using the Maybelline uh, Tattoo Studio in the shade Blonde. Okay, so now moving on to the eyes, like I said, I will be doing a Coraline inspired look. Um, there aren't any Coraline palettes that I know of, so I'm just going to be doing a look um, based on the general color scheme as well as some of the outfits that Coraline wears in the movie. So first I'm going to take this fluffy eyeshadow brush from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection, and I'm going to be going into the Lorac Beauty and the Beast palette, and I'm going to take this blue shade here which is beast mode. Now that I've built up the shade beast mode, I'm going to be going into the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette, and I'm going to be taking this shade here, Relic, which is the yellowy gold, and I'm going to take that on my finger to go on my lid. Now that I have the yellow shade on my lid, I'm going to stay in the same palette and I'm going to take the same brush that I used before and take this uh, shimmery blue shade, Ministry, and I'm going to tap that over where I put Beast Mode. Now with a smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to be taking the same shade Ministry and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line.
So now I'm going to be going in with this ColourPop liquid liner in the shade Graceland, and I'm going to draw some white stars over the blue. Um, I'm doing this because I used the yellow, um, which is inspired by the rain jacket the Coraline wears, and then the blue with the stars is inspired by the sweater she wears. Okay, now to highlight my inner corner, I'm going to be using another wand brush, and I'm going to take the same highlight that I used before from the Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit. Now for eyeliner, I'll be using the NYX Eye Pencil in the shade Sapphire for my tight line. And then the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Cottage Cheese for my waterline. And then I'll be doing a wing with this um, Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the shade Voltage Blue. And to finish off the eyes, I'll be using my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Okay, so here is the completed eye look. Now to finish off the look, I'll first be taking the Maybelline Color Sensational in the shade Beige Babe, and I'll just be tapping that a little bit on my lips to give them a little more color. And then over that, I will be using the Lip Slut Lip Gloss in the shade Snowflake. Okay, so here we have the completed look inspired by the movie Coraline. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Thank you.